currently working as QA lead in this uh, here at QA Infotech. So it's been quite some time that I've spent in the IT industry and uh, I have I've had some very interesting experiences. But today I'm here to talk about test strategy for cloud migration. So let me go to my agenda. So talking about migration to cloud, it's a no-brainer because of the advantages that cloud provides for you. Exponential increase in bandwidth, low operational maintenance cost, agility, and a clear achievable ROI makes cloud uh, uh, look out for everything. So uh, let me explain to you why I'm here today. I've been involved in here at qn for in migrating a few projects to cloud. And uh, well, uh, and I'll be uh, discussing some uh, statistics that I've collected from the industry. And then I'll be talking about the strategy that we have followed here for cloud uh, migration, which I've divided into three categories, this before, during, and after migration. And then I'll be concluding with the same. So talking about cloud migration, Every company will, uh, like, you know, they're going through cloud migration right now or will be doing so in future. So it's an inevitable, uh, like, you know, upcoming uh, technology which we have to go through. So uh, I just want, uh, wanted to share my experiences and if any, uh, any such request comes along your way in your project, so you'll be able to remember some pointers and uh, use that. So looking at the statistics. About 50% of the IT professionals rank security as the top reason for them to migrate to cloud. 76% of the senior executives say how crucial cloud is important to their organization statistics. A recently survey conducted in January 2016 by RightScale states that about 42% of the respondents says yes to cloud. And those were part of enterprises which have more than 50, uh, 1,500 employees. 84% of the CIOs report that they have cut the application cost by moving on to cloud. So we can see that uh, eventually uh, the companies have to move on to the clouds now on the other. And with such uh, multiple disciplines and multiple uh, teams involved in the process, in my presentation I'll be uh, taking care of what the QA angle has to offer. So in the before migration phase, the QA needs to compute the test cases which they will be including in the smoke and regression test suits. Also, what percentage of those test cases will be automated and then executed? QA needs to then advise and suggest to the, uh, in perspective of the priority order of the components that needs to be migrated. And this is obviously in consultation with the business. Once that is done, we need to collect test data for, uh, test data uh, before migration. This is very important to take care of three critical aspects for migration, which is data accuracy, integrity, and data completeness. Once that is done, we kickstart off our regression test suite even before migration has taken place. We list down all the existing and newly found bugs because of our, uh, in respect of our testing cycles. We need to do this in order to understand that the uh, existing, we have an understanding of the existing bugs because of the, uh, even before migration has even started. Based on all those testing efforts, we then estimate our test efforts for the migration create a rollback plan and, the set, and set the exit criteria upfront, which in our case was 100% regression test should pass. We then perform a, a set of performance tests in order to baseline the performance of the application before migration and then compare it after the migration is done. So during the migration set, what we do was the uh, most stable build on the uh, reston environment, which is the uh, physical, uh, which is the build on the physical servers of the project, we deploy it on the PUC environment on cloud. The PUC environment currently is a very minimal environment. We then keep on gradually increasing the servers, and then, which is basically the higher tiers on the cloud. We then kick off with our uh, functional and performance test on the cloud. Since we are uh, uh, migrating the uh, component by component into the higher tiers, we need to ensure that the uh, continuous integration process is, uh, is in place and we need to test uh, the, uh, the components in the cloud that they are integrated properly. So we need to ensure it. So once that is done, the bugs that are logged as a result of the uh, testing are then fixed simultaneously and the tests are continued iteratively until the exit criteria is met. So once the exit criteria is met, QA provides the final sign off on the Q build. On the day of the migration, we deploy the release candidate build that was uh, as a result of the final sign off on QA. We deploy the release candidate build to production. 
QA then carries out their uh, functional and uh, performance tests on the production environment and the regression uh, component level regression test suit. Then the data that we had collected earlier uh, before migration, we compare with the one and do an apple to apple matching with the data that has collected after the migration in order to ensure that there was no data loss in the process. And then once that is done, the QA provides a sign off and hands over the bill to the business team who then performs a single round of UAT and finalizes the sign off and states that the uh, product is now migrated into the cloud environment. So things to keep in mind, uh, during our testing cycle, some of the common errors that you may observe will be like 405, 500 internal servers, bad gateway, 502, server timeout and connectivity issues. There may be deployment issues which may lead to a longer downtime. So during the process, we need to, uh, during migration process, we need to note down the components as to which particular component was uh, stable on which particular build so that we can have a proper rollback plan in place. Also, we need to ensure that the coordination among the uh, product team members and the stakeholders is very uh, crisp out so that there is no uh, discrepancy creeping in in the uh, you know, estimation of the deliverables and the end results. Also, one thing to note here is that we need to update the smoke checklist uh, that we are running after each deployment cycle. And it cannot be a static one because there might be scenarios and there might be issues cropping in in between due to performance test scenarios, which we need to include in our smoke checklist. So we need to make it uh, to a dynamic one. So you must be wondering, what is the basic difference between the cl cloud migration strategy that we are following and how is it different from a regular product going live? So what we need to understand here is the, uh, the cloud migration is not a standalone process. It takes place in, uh, simultaneously with the sprint work that is going on currently for the rest on environment. So we need to have proper planning in order to handle both the tasks simultaneously and effectively. So uh, the above strategy that we have discussed in it, it's technology, it's like, you know, it's not dependent on the technology that we are uh, taking up. Like it's independent, uh, you can take a Microsoft Azure or EC2 or Google Cloud Migration or even AWS and it will be technology agnostic. You, it, the strategy, you can adopt a similar strategy for cloud migration and then accordingly you can take up any other technology and apply it. So in our case it was AWS environment and we had uh, like you know migrated some of the e-learning products and based on our experiences we are really happy to help if any such challenges or requests comes along your way. You just have to keep the few critical points in mind like you need to uh, know what are your migration goals and based on that you need to decide on what will be your exit criteria and set it up accordingly. You need to ensure that there is proper collaborations between the product teams and the stakeholders. You also need to ensure that there is tight collaboration. The team is aware about their what the migration goals are. And then based on uh, those specific points, if you keep in mind, you can build up a champion team who can take on the daunting task for cloud migration. Thank you so much.